Hello YouTubers, this is Nick in Calgary, Alberta in Canada and I just picked up this humidifier for the, the furnace humidifier made it by Honeywell I'm going to install that into our furnace I have a old one which is the roller type which does not work very good so the filters all gonna has a crystal build up because we have very hard water so my goal is to take out this old one and put this furnace humidifier into our system all right this is the humidifier the older one that i'm going to replace the reservoir is full of the white scale it built up due to the hardness of the water and this roller has been pretty solid as well because uh, i disconnected this thing a little while ago and uh, it's been sitting like that for the last half a year at least so my goal now i'm going to figure out how to get this one start working and first thing to do don't forget to turn off your furnace so i'm lucky that the furnace doesn't have a switch around it and if you don't you have to probably find a way to disable it you don't want to work on the live system in case of any damage This Honeywell first humidifier I picked up from Home Depot. Uh, it cost 184 Canadian dollar, so I guess roughly uh, 150 US if for you guys live in south of the border. Um, it comes with the all the holes. Uh, here is the transformer. I believe it's a. I think it turns into a 24 volts or downstep transformer. Um, I believe this might be the filler tube. This is our remote control or uh, humidifier meter. Then some hardware, instructions, some wiring, and some tubes, or I mean the tapes. And voila, that's our baby. All right, so far I've took the old humidifier system out. I just found a problem that my older system was mounted on the intake of the heater or the furnace. And he used the, the, uh, the force of the air push into this humidifier, goes into the return and going back and circulating around. But the new system would actually working reversely so I like to mount it on top of the furnace so that's something I need to figure out see if that system can be installed reversely so now I'm working on reversing the flowing direction since well, I just took out this uh, the pad and this is going to be the opening to the inlet going to the furnace and outlet would be I'll put this this thing to the left hand side so the air will be blowing into the here and then push into the the inlet of the furnace then keep it circulating that way and hope that's gonna work after some configuration I figured the existing hole would not fit so I have marked on this side of my inlet of the furnace I'm going to cut the hole out on this side um, unfortunately, I don't have the tools. So I have to go to uh, Home Depot to pick up a, a sheet metal cutter in order to make this cutting for the new humidifier. So, yeah, just stay in tune. I end up using my kitchen scissor to make this hole, and I probably destroyed the scissor anyway. Um, here's a, what this opening is look like after I cut it. Um, now just let's see if that thing will fit. Okay guys, give you some updates. So far, I just installed the thing. And uh, I wasn't the most handy guy here, so um, if you can see there, where's my flashlight? So everything got in and the bottom side you see that little thing that shows the shiny part that's the part of the duct so it sits on top of it 
and then you drive four self-tapping screws into the four corner, top right, top left, and uh, two in the bottom. And this one, it looks a little different from the other ones because I lost it when I was installing it. It went into the duct. There's no way I can retrieve it. So lucky enough, I have another spares. Um, so yeah, this guy's on now. The rest of it will be connecting from this side to the one from the furnace. So it will be air pushing from this side into the inlet and then pushing into the pad, which will be soaked with water and then got sucked down into this inlet into the furnace again and then goes up into the house. Okay, I connected the supply line from the furnace to the humidifier with the provided uh, the this whatever the holes or the big thing was called and this pad is in there installed and I connect the water I turn the water on sounds like the water goes into it already and stopped at a valve there must be a uh, actuating valve underneath so unless you supply the power then it won't turn it on and uh, I'll figure out the rest. And there's a little tricky thing because there's a switch here. I wasn't too sure what is the function of it. Maybe a pressure differential switch. It says if I installed the humidifier on the return line on the furnace, which is the way I did, I need to connect from there's a great purple, um, I'm sorry, the great nipple. I have to connect this line, tap into somewhere on along my furnace. Um, so that's the next step I need to figure out. And also I need to figure out how to get the power to it. I was hoping to, I can control this humidifier through my house, humidistat, but unfortunately the wiring came down here, goes all the way into the furnace and into this control board. It's way too much. Things need to be figured out. So I think it makes things simpler. I'll probably just put my thermostat, or I mean, the humidistat, just right on top of my humidifier. And that way it's more straightforward and it's easier to control and less wiring I need to worry about. Um, yeah, let's do that. Alright, so far, the humidistat is installed, wired from the bottom, goes into the, uh, the bottom of the controller okay and then another wire goes to all of the hoops and goes to the plug on the wall so everything else is all good to go except I think I just need to connect that little tab and send a tube into my thermos uh, my furnace on the uh, on the supply side or I mean on the outlet side so let's see if everything's gonna work. Okay, I got everything working now. And if you can see this tube, the drain tube has the water moving down because it's working. Water is going, is feeding from this thing here. I have this tube coming from the roof, or not roof, um, the PAX hose. And I, so I just reused this existing hose for water feeding into the system comes down here goes feed into right there to that fitting there okay if you don't have existing ones you might have to tap into one of the existing holes just like there so you have to use that fitting and the press into this valve or into the line and just do something like that so in my situation I got everything working and if you're looking at this tube, I just drilled a quarter inch hole and insert this pressure sensor tube because my unit's a little different. Maybe I think it's a little newer now because I just went to my friend's house. I saw an older version. They do not have this press pressure sensor. This pressure sensor here is like a diaphragming site. Initially when I was trying to make it work, uh, because I installed it reversely, this unit is on the return line and going into the furnace. So for the diaphragm switch, in order to turn on this solenoid, it would need to have a pressure difference between these two lines. 
and based on my test, this is the line goes into the back of the pack on this humidifier, which is on the lower pressure line. And this side, you need to have a higher pressure line, which is coming from this fitting here, which is right above my furnace. So this is the higher pressure side. And when this two has a pressure difference, would turn on this actuator or would turn on the switch which allow the actuator to turn on to allow the water to flow into the system otherwise when the furnace is off it would not supply any water so there will be no water drain into my floor drain in another word <clears throat> sorry in another word this version will save a bit more water because I heard other ones that have the system running constantly um, little cap up, so um, everything's working now. Uh, I need to keep monitoring what's the best pressure for me. I mean, the, what's the be best setting for me uh, to keep my house humidified. And uh, I'm happy with my work. It took me about five hours to get everything installed and cut all the holes out. And uh, um, unfortunately, my existing humidifier was not. Uh, uh, the opening is not big enough for my newer one, so I have to cut out a big one on the side. So, yeah, and this is the leftovers. I still have a. Uh, I need to clean everything up, so I use some tools here. There's a wire stripper, there's a knife and uh, pliers, um, some of the drills and uh, impacts and tape measure and etc. And because I have the existing supply line for my water, so I did not open this pack for this uh, the water lines. And uh, for the rest of it, I think this is a very good unit, and uh, it's easy, relatively easy to install for a relatively handy person. And uh, yeah, so if you guys have any questions, just let me know. I'll do my best trying to answer all the questions. Thanks, guys. Good luck. Bye.